Today we are making this boa. Yes, this one specifically. So I love a big boa. They look fabulous on stage and that's what you deserve. So just so you know, all the materials I used are in the description so you can get exactly the same stuff. And let's jump into it. Right, material. So this is one of my favorite things to make for burlesque because it's just so easy. No sewing machine, just some cutting. So I've got two rolls of tulle and a curtain rail with little tassels. So you do want to have the tassels on these boas so it actually has some weight to it. These are a bit light, but I'm not angry. Some cardboard in order to measure some things and scissors. Let's go. Have a look. So these curtain rails look like that. And we're going to just tear them apart. Remove the knots. It's going to be a little bit twisted. We're not angry at that. Uh, leave some twists in. They're going to be in the middle. No one will see. You can cut them up and just tie them in the center. You don't have to. I might. There we go. This is what you want. And this is how long the boa is going to be. So they're nicely tied together. And we can put that aside for now. Go here. That's fine. So now these. These are parts of an Amazon package. And they are... 23 centimeters or if you um, prefer it like that, nine inches. We're going to use this to cut the tool. It doesn't have to be 23 centimeters. This is just what I have. This part's super easy. Anyone can do this. It's just covering this with the tool. So I might speed this up in a bit. Because this is the boring part. Did it. Huh. The whole rolls around here now. And we're just going to use this as a base to cover it in cover cut it in pieces. I'll have to do the second one later, but that's a future me problem. I'm going to cut this open on one side. So by now you probably see that if this thing is 23 centimeters, cut it open at one, we'll have pieces of tool that will be about 50 centimeters, give or take. It's a boa, so it doesn't matter if it's not precise. So you may have seen already that I used two pieces of cardboard. That's going to make it easier for me to cut between them when I get more closer to the core. You don't want to like try and cut too many layers at once. That's gonna be difficult. I say, cutting into too many layers at once. Do what I say, not what I do. Yeah! 
There we go. It's one stack. The other one. <laughs> Oh, uh, this is tedious, but you know, you want to be a showgirl, you got to do tedious stuff. Oh, right there. Same process. Got the floof. I've also seen some people um, add LEDs or like fairy lights to the string in the center. So you have a light up boa, which is fabulous. We love a light show. And the nice thing about this all is because it's so easy, you can play so much with it. Like there's very little that you can do wrong. And let's be real. We love a project where little can go wrong. Right. That's our cutting done. So we can start making a boa. Let's get the bungee back. And I'm going to bring you closer so that you can actually see what I'm doing. All right. So we have all our tool. We have our boa. But I usually, this is useless. What I usually like to do is to immediately cover the center bit so that that's nice and tight. And just two knots. Sessa. That's it. That's the magic. So I like to make sure that this stays in place, doesn't move. And that's what we're gonna do on this entire thing. Just a bunch of knots. This is where you say, can you not? I cannot. All the Winnie the Pooh jokes come here. So it's really just like the parts where I made some other knots that I want to make sure that I cover really well. And the floof will come when you have more of them on it. And you can always come back and add more. You can see where we're going. So this pink one is going to be for my friend Fihim and Van. She has a flamingo act in mind and she does fabulous like pink gothic pieces. So when I asked her like, what color do you want? And I suggest, and hot pink was an option. She asked me like, why are you even asking me stupid questions? And you know what? She was so right. I mostly ask to be polite, let's be real. We all have friends that we know exactly what they will want, but we just ask them just, you know, to be polite, just to check. You know, maybe that would have been the day that she's like, no, actually, different vibe altogether. And that would have been understandable. Let's see, you can see what we're going for. 
but no, flamingo realness. And we respect that. It's like, these boas are huge, so you have to go all the way. I first made this in um, lockdown when we did a show in the house with our uh, troupe. And the show was going to have a feather boa. And my partner, bless him, when I mentioned to him the term feather boa, he looked at me like I did something horrible to him, like I just killed his dog or something. Because he loves things to be neat. And he just imagined feathers all over our entire apartment. And you know what? Fair. If I were to get a feather boa, I would get feathers all over the hecking apartment. So let's not do that. So I started to think of like other ways to make boas. And I saw a YouTube video of someone who made a tool tutu. With exactly the same technique, but around a piece of elastic. So basically I used that and started making these massive tulip boas and sharing that with the rest of the class. And we all made our massive boas and the show ended up so lovely because we all had these like outrageous big boas and that looked amazing. Because, you know, in drag and burlesque and cabaret, more is more. Like, the only thing I regret about this boa is that it's not bigger. And I think that's an extremely reasonable regret to have. Like, I could have gotten four rolls of tool, made it more... <sighs> no, I say that. I could not have gotten four rolls of... You'll see. At some point, we'll be done. It will take me a few hours to get all of this around. Anywho. So yeah, we started doing the um, BOA work in lockdown. And I made five because I was so bored in lockdown. And then my partner, bless him, he told me, Lisa, you have to get rid of at least two of them. Because this is too much bullshit in our house. And so I went to my friends and said, yeah, my, my partner is making me get rid of a few of these boas. And they were, how dare he do this to you? They were completely on my side. How dare this man tell you to get rid of your boas? Also, I'd like the pink one. <laughs> They were happy to sacrifice themselves for my partner's request for not having that many boas in the house. Best friends on the planet, truly. But they would do that for me. But yeah, the nice thing about these boas is not just that they're massive and we love a big size, but also they don't shed chicken feathers. Um, and yeah, anyone who... Um, has worked with a boa knows about the shedding. And also some people are pretty allergic apparently to the feathers. Uh, a thing to keep in mind with anything that has feathers on it is that there's no such thing as fake plastic feathers. Every feather, like craft feathers, pillow feathers, um, feather boas, they're all real feathers. That's A, uh, feathers are of an amazing material. Like material science on feathers is really cool. They are very strong for how light they are. Uh, that's just the material keratin is like that. And the poultry industry is so big that there's so much waste. Like um, chicken and turkey feathers. Yeah, there's, You know how much chickens and turkeys people eat? All those have feathers and they go somewhere. So they get washed and dyed and used for boas and craft packages. So that's why they're so cheap. There's like a surplus. It's funny to me, like often people think that like cheap craft packages with like these very like brightly colored feathers are like plastic, but no, they are not. They feel plasticky because of the dyes and the um, sprays around them, but they are all real feathers. So in that sense, a tool boa is also a vegan uh, alternative to having a feather boa. So you can see what we're going. I'm going to do the rest off camera because um, I'm gonna watch an anime while doing this. I love you, and I'm sure you will love to see the time lapse, but um, I think you've got it. <laughs> oh! Right, I've done most of it, and we're just gonna finish it off together. Huh. Plus, there's so many of this. I often get lost at the best way to tackle this. 
if you can see like that's a lot of tool there is a reason i just left watched something and then came back so depending on how much you have left you can end up like squishing it together a bit and forcing some more into it but i usually end up really well using these two rolls of tool at the end like we don't all they don't all have the same size so you may have to like trim your boa a bit or you can just see how floofy you like it because we do love a bit of floof last one wow all right let's move all of this aside let's see make some room huh and you do i love these tassels because it helps me keep it down in place we did it so you did it hopefully maybe you joined me maybe you didn't but this is the end product it's simple you can do it if you do it please show me because i'd love to see what you've made Thank you for being here and see you.